YouTube, got another one for you today. We're back in business with a weapon level XP video. Now, this is something that you guys have not left me alone about, so I decided to attack it. And solve the biggest problem that we face as Call of Duty players right now. A problem that makes it so we can't unlock our camos. A problem that makes it so we have to play game modes we might not want to play. A problem that makes it so we might even have to play Warzone or a game we don't even want to play. And last but not least, a problem that sometimes suggests we play with more than ourselves, insinuating I have friends to play with that will just level up my weapons? <laughs> I'm not talking about anyone subscribed, you are my friend. That being said, yes, we're going to go over a couple strategies today, how to get your weapons leveled up as fast as possible, whether that's zombies camos or multiplayer camos or just in general, the fastest way to level up weapons and what's going to suit you best. So if you're new to this channel, I don't like to waste any time. We're going to jump straight into the good stuff. Before I do so, I just want to say thank you. I swear, yesterday I was just saying thanks for 100 subscribers. Today, as I sit here, we are breaking 300 subscribers already. So I'm glad the videos I've been able to make have been beneficial to you guys. I'm going to keep posting content. 2021 is my year. It's your year. We're in this together. So if you're new, drop a sub. If you like the video, leave a like. It helps my name get out there. And if there's anything I can do better in the next video or that you'd like to see in the future, leave a comment below. But with that being said, I love all of you and let me show you what's up. Let's get to it. Before we jump into the video, I just want to show you guys something briefly. Now, if you look at my double weapon XP tokens, um, you know, I have uh, three 15 minutes, one, one, six, one hours. Um, so I do have a couple weapon XP tokens, but I'm going to hop over to Modern Warfare. If you guys have played Warzone, I'm assuming most of you have, or if you played the Modern Warfare game itself, you actually will have a lot more XP tokens that you guys can activate on that game. Head back into Cold War and, uh, and use the benefits there. As you guys will be able to see here, obviously we're on Modern Warfare. Now if I open up my XP tokens here, I have three, five, 21 and 11 so you know a lot more without question the most important thing you guys can take advantage of are double xp weekends and the tokens that you do have so make sure you're hopping back into this game just to check how many you have not that you need to play warzone if you don't want to anymore or anything like that but definitely worth checking on the xp tokens activating it on this game jumping back over and playing cold war now, before we jump into the gameplay, I'm going to talk about something that isn't talked about enough. If you are going for mastery camos or camos or anything in multiplayer, spend your time leveling your weapons in multiplayer. Vice versa, if you're going for mastery camo or camos in zombies, spend your time leveling your weapon in zombies. Yes, I know. Unpopular opinion. Your question is going to be, well, Zach, if the fastest way to level up your weapons in Dirty Bomb, why not play Dirty Bomb and go level up my weapon in zombies? For example, if you want to level up your weapons in rounds 1 through 10, of zombies and then move over to multiplayer to try and get gold diamond dark matter ultra over there in the meantime you could have completed six bloodthirsties just from leveling up your weapon in multiplayer now having to play back through all those camos being at zero you can't get that time back you will be playing for more time than you would have if you played in the game mode which you want your camo so that being said, I'm going to show the fastest way to level up your weapons in zombies and in multiplayer and let you choose the best path for you now that you know the benefits. Now, all of my weapons are max level other than the Groza, which is 14 and a half. So we're going to use this gun for this game of zombies and I'll show you exactly what to do. So for those of you that watch my videos, you know we're a big fan of speedruns um, and zombies itself. After you pass round two, I'm going to open the first door and the second barrier to the top of rocks, uh, just because its spawn rates will be the fastest. All the zombies will kind of come at you in a straight line here. We've brought Ring of Fire, which gives us a huge damage buff. As we play into the little bit later of the rounds, we're going to need that because we're not pack-a-punching. We're not leveling up the tiers of our weapons or doing anything like that, just because that time spent running around the map should be spent getting kills, leveling up your weapons. There's our first level up, and as you guys can see, we're also unlocking camo challenges for the gun. If I were doing this in multiplayer, I would not be doing that. I'd have to come back in and play after, and get those 250 kills all over again, which is just added time. Now, in zombies, when you're not turning the power on, um, there will be no elite zombies that spawn until round 15. So... What I want you guys to do is pretty much stay up here as long as you can. Once you get around round 10, that's when weapon level XP starts to go down. We don't want to play past 15. It's just pointless. I actually ran out of ammo, so what you guys can do is jump down to the bottom here. Head back up to the top. Is that another level up? As 
our next level up as we head into level nine. So we got quite a bit of got quite a bit of zombies here. I'll show you what I'm talking about with Ring of Fire. Um, the damage buff is just crazy. So while you're doing the strategy, you definitely want to bring it. It also doesn't pull ammo from your uh, mag. It'll pull it from the ammo reserve to save you a bunch of time. Once the zombies start getting a little bit harder to kill, you can just pop this puppy. If you're a better player, you can stay up here through round 15. Um, but if not, I'll show you where you can go. It's just back to spawn. We'll train the zombies in this pawn area right here, and we'll be shooting them down this straight path. I will play this game out to round 15 just to show you guys that's when the elite zombie spawns and the absolute last round you want to stay in just to get your weapon level XP. After that, you're just losing yourself time. Another level up just so we can be more efficient. It looks like they are all in the pile there. So we're going to pop it down sight. Just aim for the head here. So we're waiting to grab our insta kill until the last second here the round has started. There's another level up for us. So as we head into our last round here we should get the lead zombie. Um, and if you die on this round you die, if you make it through you make it through, but you do want to back out after round 15. Here comes your elite zombie. So we're going to want to ignore him, just continue to train the zombies up into a pile. We will then use our ring of fire and shoot at them both. So now it looks like we have all of our zombies in the pile, so we are going to bring them back to the corner, use our ring of fire, aim at the head, and again just clear as much of them as you can. pretty much has it we just ended the round there um, we'll check and see what our weapon level is so as you guys can see just in that one game at level 15 we did level it up almost five times while unlocking camo challenges we're almost at level 20 so pretty decent and we'll head over to multiplayer and show you what you can do there now I just want to remind you guys what we just did in zombies um, was using no double weapon XP tokens so if you have those at your disposal use them and as far as multiplayer goes, we don't know if Nuketown 24 7 is going to be here forever. So, A, if you are a fragger, if you're someone who can get kills a lot in game modes, definitely play Nuketown. It's hectic, it's fast. And the XP per minute is worth playing. We're going to jump into a game of that just to show you an example. So again, while playing Nuketown, don't care about your KD, don't care about your, your deaths, anything like that. You're here to frag. You're here to get as many kills as possible. Oh, this is a great fuck. <laughs> they mad, they mad. He's standing in fire! I can't do this right now. Not today. Son of a bitch. F fucking kill. Bro, what are you? I'm getting spawn killed. Bro, what the fuck? Damn. 
pain. They're smoking shit. This is getting ridiculous. Bullshit. Yeah. So if you're able to frag out multiple bullshit. Yeah. So also get dicked on the same fucking kill feed twice. <laughs> <laughs> sort of kill one time. <laughs> now I just want to show you guys for example, that game we were using a double weapon XP token. The zombies game took us about 15 minutes, that game of domination on Nuketown took us about 13 minutes. Now we both, in both games, leveled up about 5 times, maybe a little more using the double XP in uh, multiplayer. But I just wanted to go to show, you know, early rounds of zombies really is still viable. We weren't using a double weapon XP token in that game mode. You don't have to come to multiplayer and frag out in order to level up your weapons fastest. Other game modes in multiplayer such as Dirty Bomb or Search and Destroy, VIP Escort, game modes where you have less lives to play. If you can play those like it's Call of Duty Championships and run around like it's Domination like I just did, you'll get a lot of XP too. The most important part is what you want your camos in sticking in that game mode. I'm a very structural person. I like starting something, completing it, restarting it, and starting over. The zombie strategy works for best for me. Um, if I were to use a double weapon XP token, I urge you guys to go try it and try it out and see how much XP you get. My biggest thing is getting kills with no time in between. Zombies, you obviously can do that. You know, Nuketown 24-7, you obviously can do that. There's other options like Plunder and Warzone on Modern Warfare or, you know, like a Dirty Bomb, but there's big gaps in between kills and you're wasting time you could be using getting smaller amounts of XP to go faster. I know in most YouTube videos, people don't give you their opinion. They'll just tell you both options and then say do both. I love playing zombies. My choice that's best for me is early round zombies using double weapon XP tokens or double XP weekends. For you, if you're going for, you know, Dark Matter Ultra and camos and multiplayer, play multiplayer. Do what I just did. Really just comes down to the user and what suits them best. Those are the options I found are best for leveling up quickly. Now, that being said, something else that's really important. We're going to come into our Groza and look at the camo challenges. In multiplayer and zombies, your last two are at level 40 and level 50. Same within zombies, level 40 and level 50. If you're using double weapon XP tokens for an hour or, you know, on the weekend, a double XP weekend, stop leveling your weapon at level 40. You can complete your camos after the double weapon XP has finished or the double weapon XP weekend is over. You can complete weapons level 40 through 50 while you're doing all those camo challenges. You want to get that weapon level to 40 and stop. Move on to your next weapon and level that up to 40 and stop. So on and so forth. While you're leveling 40 through 50, you'll complete the long 2,500 zombie, you know, kills, as well as in multiplayer. Get your weapon level to 40, and then from 40 to 50, you'll be able to, you know, do your, your five bloodthirsties 20 times, your long shot medals, your detected medals, your behind cover, or, you know, or point blank medals. All those will be able to get worked on from weapons level 40 through 50, which then you can complete that last camo challenge in both regards fairly quickly. In multiplayer, two or more enemies rapidly. That'll happen very fast. In zombies, 20 more consecutive kills without being hit that can happen very fast level up your weapon to 40 and stop don't get it to 50 it's a waste of time while you're utilizing the double weapon xp tokens or weekends that being said i know today's video was highly requested and i hope that helped you out i know it's kind of all information we already know we just need to know where to be directed that's best for us so i hope i was able to do that today if there's anything i missed Ask me questions in the comments. I don't think there's one comment on my last videos I haven't replied to. That's what I'm here for is to help you guys. And I hope I can provide substantial information that actually helps. But that's really all the information you need from me. Now, you know, the action comes in just doing it. Like anything in life, whether it's losing weight, getting a girlfriend, you just got to do it. You just got to get out, get working on it, make it happen. Don't get stuck in the mindset of looking up so much information that you're, you're wasting time when you could be doing it. This is the only video you need to watch. Don't go watch others. Using the two things I just showed you or dirty bomb or plunder if that's your thing will unlock your weapon levels the fastest period i hope you've enjoyed today's video
I am going to be live streaming Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sundays on YouTube. We like to play zombies, multiplayer, other games as well. So if you've enjoyed, drop a sub, come hang out, tell me what video you're from. And I know you guys can't see this, but we're at 299 subscribers right now. So I know after this video hits, we'll hit 300. So just want to say thank you one more time. I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your days. Now go and get those camos. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.